Jefferson County re-entered the red zone of coronavirus cases. The DeSoto School District is moving into a hybrid learning model. Fox 2's Zara Barker is live after talking with the district superintendent and the county health director. Zara? Yeah, Jefferson County has once again re-entered the red zone. Now, this is the first time the county has seen this many red indicators in a week since the start of this pandemic. Got a lot of uncontrolled spread in the community. On the COVID-19 roller coaster in Jefferson County, the county re-entered the red zone this week because of the largest seven-day rolling average of cases. We entered the red zone again uh, due to the amount of cases we had last week. We had about 503 cases over the course of the last week, which is about 100 more than we've seen any other prior to this. This is the first time these five indicators have been read all at the same time. The Jefferson County Health Department's latest data show more than 1,000 people are quarantined in the county. And on Wednesday, the DeSoto School district announced it's having to change its school schedule because with so many staff in quarantine, they're having a hard time keeping school operations going. We believe that by going down to four days on site a week and one off, it'll allow us to take extra time on the contact tracing. And it's also affecting athletics. A DeSoto football player tested positive after Friday night's game at Festus. Now 24 football players are in quarantine, forcing the district to put kickoffs on hold. As a result of that uh, quarantine, uh, we were not able to uh, continue with our varsity football squad as well as our junior varsity football squad. Uh, so we've canceled our events uh, for the next two weeks in terms of football games and look forward to resuming our homecoming activities. While school districts adjust, the county health director plans to ask the county health board Thursday to schedule a special session where they can discuss a mask mandate, but says it's all up to them. What we can do as an agency is definitely dictated by what our board passes as official mandates. And as of right now, there are no plans set to discuss that mask mandate during tomorrow's board meeting. Live from the Powers Insurance Bureau tonight, Sarah Barker, Fox 2 News.